Isn't that then again, though, a case of us, the people who don't relate to it, telling the person when they should bring it up? Is it really our place as dudes to... Because I, I, that was my take, guys. Full transparency. I, I argued with my wife. I said, I don't know, hon. I feel like she should have waited, finished out the match, gone to the press conference and said, how dare that guy call that on me after 23 Grand Slam appearances, right. calling a nonsense call on me. I, that's how I felt. But my wife was like, you know... I, it really made me feel as if it's maybe not my place to say, no, you don't say it then. Say it at a time when it's more comfortable. She felt it in that moment. She felt right at that moment, what are you doing? Would Sampras get that? Would, as I tweeted on Saturday, let's be real about where Serena Williams' ilk as an athlete is. I think we're all on the same page. She's the greatest. We're talking about... Might be the greatest athlete of all time. We're talking about Ali, yeah. DiMaggio. We're talking about the greatest who have ever done their sport. It, it would be like LeBron or Michael Jordan getting a double tech in overtime of Game 7 of the Finals. This was to tie Margaret Court for her 24th Grand Slam. So I do think it's essentially you start out with the coaching call, whether it was done or not, was absurd. I've watched probably 60 Grand Slam Finals in my life, maybe 100, I don't know. Never in my life well, have I seen it, that. Maybe it was overt. Maybe it was overt. But no one else seemed to think that. They all said, the commentary all day was, he did the same thing everyone else did. Her coach comes right out and goes, I did the same thing, but Sasha, her coach, was doing the exact same thing. Mm -hmm. Why are you calling on my person? Why would the star not get the benefit of the doubt? That's generally how it works. Well, I, I always have this argument with Paul O'Neill, who thinks that umpires put themselves in the situation where they become the story. And he said, you can't throw somebody out in certain situations. And I said, I would technically agree, but does that mean that the player could do and say whatever he wants if it's a big situation? He could drop F-bombs all over the place and he doesn't get thrown out? There has to be a line drawn in the sand. She would not let it go. I agree. You, I, can, I, can, I can see your point about the coaching. I think it's a dumb rule. She obviously broke the racket. But then she deserved to have a warning. But if she kept going, I think she still would have kept going. Oh. And all, by the way, she was still getting beaten. She well, was going to lose that match. That part, it was... And I feel sorry for the young lady. She, well, was, she, she was on the verge. She had a chance to turn it there, Mike. We should be fair. She was, if you were watching the game from, from a momentum standpoint, the match, in that spot, three, three second set, she lost the first set handily. You were starting to sense it was turning, but if I'm being fully honest as someone who's watched her a thousand times, she was in her own head all day. Right. She was not right all day. So would she have done this had she not been in that mental space? I don't know. But that's all the more reason why, from the chair umpire standpoint, she's down 6-2, okay? It's not like she's cheating her way to some victory and you're like, I just can't let her keep cheating. Mm -hmm. She's destroying this girl. So why in that moment would you as an umpire inject yourself there? Don't know. It's hard to support the umpire. You can't. Carlos Ramos obviously was wrong. Um, is he sexist? Um, that's obviously certainly up for debate. I don't know his history. Uh, John McEnroe afterwards said, I'd gotten away with a lot worse. But to me, that doesn't apply what happened 30 years ago with another umpire. I don't think this is a tennis problem, per se. I think this is an umpire problem. She has well within her right to go everywhere that she went. Where I would be critical of Serena is I do think with stature comes responsibility. She is tennis in this country. And to make it about her for that moment came at the price of a really, really good story for tennis. Naomi Osaka got robbed of her moment. So if you want to criticize her and say, well, she's, more, she's well within her right to bring it up anytime she wants because she felt she was wrong, somebody with that kind of responsibility, I could then say... You know what? Maybe your timing was misplaced because it took away from what was a really cool, cool moment for your sport. So, and I think she's okay with that responsibility. When you are that big, sometimes you need to recognize a moment that was lost because of her timing. That would be my only criticism I, of when she brought it up. I think that's fair. I also feel that if Naomi Osaka happened to be a different personality the moment at the end wouldn't have been as bad as it was. I know that sounds like I'm being harsh on her. I'm not trying to be. She's a kid playing her idol in an awkward moment. But that said, at the end, just the person that she is, she never quite recovered in the moment. It was really a disaster because she couldn't turn her face around at all. Right. And that's just who she is. That's okay. I mean, the whole crowd was booing her. Well, I didn't think the crowd was booing but Naomi, they, though. They were booing the U.S. Open. Right. But that's tough. But that's she, never got, she never got the adulation she should have gotten right. for beating an all no, and, and, and by that same token, though, we should give Serena for in the moment trying her best there at the end to try to turn it she around. Could've, she she could have tried a little bit more once she had the mic. 
But you don't think she tried enough? She didn't try enough. Wow, because I thought she tried pretty hard to turn it around. But, but she could have just said, this girl won, man. This girl deserves all yeah, the Yeah, that's true. She could have been she, aggressive. She could have been really aggressive right. because she owned the crowd right there. She could have given that girl a moment, yeah. and she was still upset. And I love the fact she didn't shake the umpire's hand. I love that. That's, that's, I love the fact that Drake brought out Meek Mill and will not address Kanye West. I love that. Petty. That's you love, of, I love Petty. I know you. Petty you're Richard Petty. I'm a big He's Petty. A Kyle Petty. Petty. Yeah, no. I'm not sure I would have the same opinion if she had beaten somebody established. If she had beaten Sharapova, somebody of that ilk, then maybe it doesn't matter. I thought a really cool moment was lost because of it. And so your wife is right, or you're, you're right, I forget whose opinion it was, that the timing could have been better, that she's allowed to do at well, any I, time. I, want. I, felt I don't know. I'm a man. I, do I have an opinion on that, of, of whether it's sexist Alexa or not? Alexa gave whatever. me a she comparison. Alexa gave me a comparison, cause I, and I, she really felt passionate about this. And she said, you don't understand what it's like in moments when you feel you're being robbed as a woman. And she just had one happen recently in a professional situation in which someone treats a woman in a way where if she responds, she feels as if she's going to be called hysterical but, or out of control. But isn't it... Uh, this is going to sound so strange. A woman benefited from the guy disciplining Serena. It wasn't like she was playing Bobby Riggs. So she's just she's just trying to compare apples to wrenches. Okay, a, a man could curse like that or whatever and get away. I don't know. Maybe the umpire would also penalize the guy. There were three steps I got her penalized. It wasn't just what she was saying. Well, I do agree. There's no doubt about it. That so it, it, I mean, okay, so she she felt victimized as a woman, but a woman won because of it. Yeah, but the thing is, remember, Michael, what what she what she's claiming sexism on is that her behavior essentially essentially is being called unladylike. That's essentially yeah, it, what it is. It's right. a because, condescending because moment. Mel because meltdowns are part of tennis, right? right? And meltdowns are a part of a lot of male-driven uh, uh, male sports. As we pointed out, I sat here celebrating Aaron Boone for losing his mind. That's part of baseball, right? It's built into it. Tennis is different. Women's tennis is different. Um, I, I just think this. Ultimately... My number one takeaway from it is, was Serena perfect? No, I don't think she was. However, to me, my number one problem is, why on earth would an umpire in a moment like that, start in the middle of a match, call a penalty no one calls? That was just a stupid way yeah. to inject yourself. Did Serena handle it perfectly afterwards? That could, we could debate that all day Not long. Not even afterwards. When she got that, when she had the game taken, she was very well, I gotta she tell was you, petulant. I was so shocked, Michael, at the game. I didn't know a game being taken away was a thing. Yeah. If you recall, it's 3-3. She loses the game. So they're on serve at this point. Osaka wins on serve to go to 4-3. So they're on pace to stay on serve and maybe end up in a tie break for the second set, which if Serena wins, what are the, how much are the odds swing that she wins the third set? Instead, they say on serve, go to 4-3. She yells, takes a game. It's now 5-3. Right. It's basically over. Yeah. She basically, it was basically like having a quarter taken away. It was so brutal. So it, it was a, I'll tell you what, though, it was like bite fight at Jace. I mean, it was a shocking moment on TV. Yeah, it, it took your breath away. It really did.